Jared Poland from Photo.com. And this is a very old school style rapid fire critique McCritikerson, where I take one of your best 10 photos and give them a critique McCritikerson. This time we've got Chris Wheeler who sent me their best 10 photos via Flickr right here. And I'm going to tell you what I think about them. Let's scroll down and see what we're shooting with. We've got a Nikon Z6 II with a Nikon Z35 1.8. S. All right, so uh, this is fine. I mean, it's a nice setup for taking photos of kids and babies. Sorry, for babies. I mean, babies are like malleable little things of clay. You can bend them and move them and move them around however you want. This is not my style of photography, but people seem to find babies in baskets to be so cute and all of this stuff. It's fine. I don't like the flatness. That's me personal. And when I say I don't like it, it's a personal choice. If you could like flat, light and airy, Steven likes light and airy. I personally don't like it that much, but I would like to throw more contrast into it. This looks fine. This is a nice looking photo. The baby looks nice, quiet. It's a nice little setup. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, this one is done with the Z6. We got an 85 1.8S, which is a very nice lens that Nikon makes there. First thing I got out of this is that the that extra glow off to the left hand side just seems to be overkill. I also feel like this is over edited, over sharpened, over something. It's like some major filter was run through this thing. I think for a um, maternity photo, which I'm not a fan of maternity photos. This is a nicer maternity photo because there's actually a scene going on. I'm not sure what the hat is all about or anything. Maybe it's like Miss America or that Statue of Liberty person, but it, 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 you got the baby. I love the reds. I like the colors. I like the tones. I don't like this fake sunburst. That is, there's no way that's real. And the background just looks overly done, overly processed and overly edited. This just has that over edited look, kind of what they do in a lot of advertisements that people seem to like. Doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's, it looks overkill to me. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. Uh, <laughs> look at me, I'm a sleeping baby. Ah ha ha, I'm a sleeping baby, look at me. Oh, and my hands are all crossed. You know babies don't sleep like that. Um, this is fine. Oh, this one actually has more contrast than the other one, than the first one. I like it better with more contrast. I think that looks very nice. I would probably put more contrast into it. Do it with the 35-1-2. Uh, lighting is good, the scene is good, and this is fine. You know, this is what critiques are about, right? Critiques are, are personal choices. Just because I say it doesn't mean it's right. Just because you see it as being great doesn't mean that I'm wrong for pointing something out. Or if I say something is great and you don't agree, that's perfectly fine. Photography is so subjective. There are some definitives that we get into where you're like, yeah, no, that just doesn't work. But in this case, personal choice. I think this is fine. Moving on. Uh, all right, what do we got this time? We've got 24 to 72.8 S, very good lens there. This is absolutely lacking contrast and just too much of a distraction in the background. Um, the lens flare is fine. If that's what you want to go for, you want that lens flare, but I'm already pulling down in my brain on the exposure slider, pumping that contrast up and making this go boom, making it go pop. Can I take this photo? Can I take this photo off here and, and do it? Can I save it as? No, I can't save it as. I can't click and drag it. I mean, I could screen grab it and do it, but I'm not gonna do it right now. So that's what I would like to see. Also, the lines are not straight. You gotta get the line straight. The track's gonna be straight for the most part. The, everything else is gonna be pretty straight. You gotta line it up. I can see that the angle is slightly off. You can see there's more grass here than there is over here on the left-hand side. So this is something where you have to make sure your lines are going to be straight. And for subjects like this, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get it straight. I say it for landscapes. Um, don't crop your landscapes after the fact if you can get your composition right beforehand because you could set it up. The landscape isn't going anywhere. Of course, there's exceptions to that, that if uh, things are happening super fast and you just can't get there quick enough and you take a shot and you have to tweak some stuff later, that's fine. Or if you're doing a creative crop when it comes to landscapes, perfectly fine as well. But in this case, I, uh, you gotta get those lines straight. You gotta get everything lined up perfect here because it just looks awkward when it's off. We need better editing on this, but as a photo for a senior or whatever, it's perfectly fine and good. Uh, this one kind of, I, I, I mean, it's a fake backdrop with a fake cock, uh, a doodle do rooster over here, moo cow right here, a moo cake right here. I don't like the colors. It looks too flat to me. Um, 
and that's the take that I'm getting from it. It's just too flat. I don't like the setup fakeness of it. I like the setup fakeness of the of the babies in the thing, but a baby in a bowl with I, with 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 uh, strawberries isn't quite doing it for me. I'm not a big fan of this one at all. Um, yeah. Let me jump in here real quick and say, are you tired of all your friends telling you that your photos are fire emoji and that this is great? And they don't tell you anything else, but you want an actual photographer to critique your work. That's why I created fronosphoto.com slash mentorship, because over there, there's two different mentorships that I offer. One is a 15 minute recorded rapid fire critique, where I take your images and give you a critique or critiquerson. And the other is a 45 minute one-on-one -on -one live Zoom call with me where I answer all of your questions as well as critique your photos. So if you're tired of your friends and family just saying that this is great and they don't have any other actual feedback and you want an actual photographer to help you out, well go ahead and sign up for one of those options. Now let's get back to the video. Cheese grin right here, 85 millimeters, 100 ISO. Settings are fine. That's cool. Uh, I, I, I guess. I just think compositionally, compositionally, I would have done more of this type of composition, right? I think there's too much headroom there. The main focus here is the, the 22, her smile, and the school that's in the background, but we can see how those lines aren't straight, this extra yellow that's coming up here. If we just compose slightly different, I think we could still have the arrow in there and do something like this. I think that composition sells all day like this, the way that I have it, and that would be a lot better because then the, the, the lines wouldn't be as distracting as up above. Next, what do we got? What do we got here? We've got 85, 1.8 as, I, I just don't like the composition. Now, it's very light and airy. I just don't like this look. I don't like the way that the flash, it's just one pop right in the face, right in the eyes. You can pick up one specular highlight. I just don't, I just don't like the feel of it. Um, I'm just not a fan of this shot. It's too flat, and I'm not saying that it needs to be super duper contrasty, but it just seems to be lacking quite a bit, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I just don't like the lighting. i rather flip her around and use the window light to come in to light the face and be more natural. Um, maybe lean up on the back of the sofa if this is a sofa with the hands resting there. Maybe something along these lines. Don't press, but gently be there. I think that might be a, a, a better option for that photo. Uh, the dog, oh, look at the dog's tongue. Oh, bro. oh, he's like, I'm sniffing you, I'm kissing you, and it's just awkward. Uh, all in a patch of uh, sunflower seeds, but that aren't actual seeds. Um, let's see, 128, 85, 1 140th, 100 ISO. Uh, it's fine, I, I like the processing, I think that looks good. I just think, again, the composition is, is off. Too much dead space up top in this. We could, I'm not saying you want to be super tight, but you could just come down quite a bit. I think there's a lot of dead space. Or back up and get a little bit more of the sunflowers in there, if that is real. I mean, it should be real. We at 1.8 on this? No, we're at 2.8 on this. So I don't know if, I mean, it has to be real sunflowers. But he looks awkward. He's just like putting his nose up in the dog. The dog's all like, oh my God, I'm in love. Oh my God, it's so good. There's so much love. I love all this love. And I'm like, yeah, it just looks awkward. And then this one is not in focus. This is a classic, is this a Z6? Yeah, Z6 should never be out of focus like this. There's no reason this should be out of focus unless you're too close. I just think maybe this backlight might have gotten in the way, but nothing in this image is focused at all. So I just think this is one of those, or is his shoulder in focus? It's possible that his shoulder or his number, the chain may be in focus, it just missed. So this is one of those Nikon failures that shouldn't happen with the Z6 that doesn't happen with the Z9. Not to rip on it, but it's just the facts that this backlight throws off that autofocus system and it kind of missed. Um, in terms of composition, we wanna get that a little bit more even. This time, you see they're not exactly in the middle. This is the type of image you wanna see symmetry right down the middle because it's even left to right, top to bottom. In this case, it's not. Right, so it's a little awkward. We wanna make sure we get that lined up right in the middle. We gotta get IAF on and we gotta let that do its job um, or get a Canon or a Sony in that case, or a Z9, which makes you spend a lot more money. And then finally, this is the last one of the set of 10. We've got a uh, 35 1.8S again. It's fine. I mean, these are great. I think people love these parents. I don't have any kids, so I don't know if I would personally love it or not, but I think it works perfectly fine. 
right? It's one of those shots. It's something that they'll turn around and remember forever and be like, oh, that's our baby. People love the shots of their babies. They like their maternity stuff. May not be my jam, but I think this is a pretty good set. I think Chris Wheeler is doing a nice job here. I think she's done some nice setups and I think she's probably getting a good amount of jobs, whether it's high school kids, maybe she's got kids in school and that's giving her access to do more uh, of those high school portraits uh, that people do, those yearbook portraits that they do, uh, senior portraits. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't do that in high school, but yeah, I think she's doing a good job with the family stuff, the maternity stuff. I would work on some of the editing just a little bit, a little bit on the composition, but good glass, the body's fine, and that's it, guys. That is a Rapid Fire Critique from Critiquerson. Now, if you'd like to sign up for a Rapid Fire Critique, as I said earlier, you can go over to fronosphoto.com slash mentorship, because over there, you can sign up for a 15-minute recorded Rapid Fire Critique or a Zoom one-on-one 45-minute call with me. So thank you guys very much for watching. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya.